Chapter 13 is called Prophecy and Cultural Critique. And I try to use the ways in which the prophets engage with the society of their day as a pattern or a paradigm for thinking about how we might engage with ours. And the main theme that I try to draw out of, of their engagement is the theme of idolatry. What, what it means to be an idolater, um, the, the implications of it, uh, the way they condemn it um, and and the what they propose you know how to how to repent of being an idolatry essentially um, and like many have done before me I try to map this language of idolatry onto contemporary culture and say um, to, to what extent can this language uh, make visible trends and dispositions within contemporary society you know what what are in a sense our idols um, and one note that I try to strike in relation to that is to, to think about this idea of disenchantment, that we live in a disenchanted world. We've left behind all our gods um, and superstitions and ideas, you know, belief in fairies and magic, and uh, we, we're now rational. And to, to look at that ideology itself as a factory of idols. So what, what sort of idols does that disenchanted engagement with the world produce. Um, there's a really helpful quote from Max Weber where he talks about, you know, the, the old gods rising from their grave. And he essentially says that when you leave monotheism, you actually um, uh, uh, become polytheistic again rather than becoming atheistic. And and I, I try to, to sort of think about the extent to which that is true. And, and is, is that a characterization of our world? And anyway, using this idea of, of idolatry as a, a scalpel to try and cut open contemporary culture and understand, I suppose in an Augustinian language, understand what it is loving uh, and and how the objects of those love, uh, of that love treat their worshippers. So one of the things about idols, of course, is that um, they, they don't love you, do they? Um, and neither do our careers or our money or our reputations um, or our following on social media or whatever it is. Um, and, and so I, I try... Um, carefully, as carefully as I'm able, to make that sort of um, link between the biblical language of idolatry and uh, the way in which contemporary culture distributes uh, its loves.